Hello everyone, today is New Year's. So happy New Year to everyone out there. I hope you had a wonderful evening celebrating or relaxing, whichever you chose. So let me know in the comments, what are your intentions or goals for 2024? I do have an event coming up on the 3rd and uh, that's going to be a group reading and theta healing. So feel free to join us for that. You can sign up through horsemanreadings.com or you can e-transfer as well. Um, and I would love to have you in there. It's over Zoom and the recording is also going to be available for our pro and VIP members. Uh, the reason why I'm sharing this is because we're going to be working on our goals as well. Um, so we can help you manifest the desires that you truly want by also releasing the things that are holding you back. Maybe these are limiting beliefs, maybe they're fears, maybe it's finances, etc. So whatever's coming through for you, that's what we're going to be working on. So today's energy, it being the first day uh, of the year, of course we have brand new starts. Uh, one is really, a, it feels like it's an independent number as well. Um, so it feels like you might be finding that you don't need other people at this time as much. So you might be finding that today's energy is more about what I want, what I need, more of the I, right? And so when we see Nine of Earth showing up, as it says, enjoying life's little luxuries, spending quiet time alone, successful self-employment, one of the things that uh, comes through in this type of tarot card is it's not just about our independence, but it's about our ability to be successful. The only way we're going to be successful is if we're working hard to get there, right? But how hard are you willing to work? Um, and so one thing that comes through here is, are we gonna choose the easy path or are we gonna choose the difficult and challenging path? And so for myself, I always thought that life is about the harder path and, and that will be more meaningful, right? It's not always the case. We don't need to take the easy way out of everything, but we don't make, need to make it hard and difficult for ourselves as well. So I do feel like this is still related to your goals that you're setting for yourself at this time. Maybe your goal is to have healthier relationships. Maybe it's to have healthier boundaries with people. Maybe it's to get more in touch with your spirituality and doing more self-healing. Maybe it's doing gratitude every day. I'm seeing some people doing polar dips today. So introducing more of that uh, hot and cold therapy into your life. Also, when we work with the element of earth here, we're in Capricorn season as well. Um, so I'm not surprised that earth is presenting itself. Earth is really about our grounding those emotions, uh, really following through with these projects as well that you have for yourself. So specifically when we connect nine as well to this grounding element, um, this talks about manifestation. So when you're grounded, you're more likely to be able to manifest. If you're not feeling grounded, it's hard for you to really believe that these things are possible for you. So if you're looking to lose 20 pounds, if, you look, if you're looking to quit smoking or just be healthier in general, um, this feels like it's it's something that again you might be feeling like there's there's too much pressure around this even though you will achieve it can you as i was already sharing make it lighter right if you are depressed or you have depression coming through at this time as well it can be a little bit of a tiresome day and also uh, people are getting back to work it's the end of the holidays so all good things have to come to an end uh, maybe it was a hard holiday for you uh, with Mercury retrograde happening. Maybe there were some relationship issues. Uh, maybe there were some communication issues, travel issues, delays, things like that. Uh, could be things around money, that sort of thing. So if you're feeling any of that negativity at this time, one recommendation would be uh, just to allow yourself to feel a bit more. So if your vibration is feeling low, sometimes we'll try to fix it right away, right? Bring it back into balance. Again, there's this pressure element that's coming through. It doesn't need to be fixed right now or right away. Same thing when you're goal setting. You don't have to accomplish that goal in 2024, but you can make it a priority and therefore maybe it becomes it's more likely to come in 2026, okay? So 
if you can remind yourself that these are actually more long-term goals that we're creating. Uh, and also with manifestation, what we're doing is we're bringing in the emotions that we want to feel. So if you're losing 20 pounds, that keeps coming up for someone specifically, um, then it feels like visualize it, it visualize what it would feel like to have that weight off. Is it your clothes fitting better? Is it your energy levels go up? Is it um, your, your food tastes better? You cook more often, whatever it is. And so see yourself even doing the activity of cooking the healthy food, grocery shopping for the healthy food. Uh, who are you eating with? right? Is it foods from a different culture? Um, is it going to the organic stores? What is it? So like, what are the recipes that you're going to make? So get very detail oriented with the emotions, with the visualizations. And again, I would recommend writing these things down as well. I actually did a uh, New Year's ritual, um, which I actually found very, very helpful just to kind of write down quickly some of the things that I'm I want to focus on um, and really asking the universe to to invite that in with me instead of it being like oh yeah I'm gonna do this or or do that maybe it's really as I was already sharing manifesting so I would love to have you in to our group reading and healing so uh, this can be amplified in a group setting um, we don't have any si anybody signed up yet I just created this event so it's going to be small and I'm gonna do it whether there's two people in the class or three people in the class, it absolutely doesn't matter. So it's inexpensive and I'd love to have you in there. I hope you have a fabulous and healing day and we will see you online soon. Bye for now.